weekend at the Funny Bone. PJ Walsh is going to be up on stage. He's joining us in studio right now. Good to see you again, man. Good to see you. It's been a little while. Uh, yeah, about yeah. three, four years. Yeah, it yeah. has been. So uh, statute of limitations must have run out finally. So I okay, guess it's good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like to make, I like, well, I was just in Omaha and now uh, I'm here. So that is awesome. Yeah. Uh, but again, a very uh, storied career uh, of yours uh, in the world of comedy. But for Renaissance. Oh, because, oh, yeah. what, what, what parts are you going to pick? Yeah. Yeah. What man. parts are you going to talk about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and uh, but uh, also uh, a veteran too. Wants to thank you for your service. Yeah, well, thank you. And well, um, one of many. So yeah. I like to keep giving back. That's why I go overseas entertain. I was just saying, explain that too. That's one of the things that uh, we find out that comics do that they really enjoy doing, even if they haven't been in the service. But uh, how much uh, more special does it make since you have been in there? Uh, I, I've done 25 trips overseas. 25? So, yeah. And uh, last year, uh, for Memorial Day, I was in Afghanistan. Thanksgiving, I was in Iraq. And for Christmas, I was in Poland, entertaining troops. And I was, been, I was deployed in the first Gulf uh, and, well, for the holidays. So for me, it's, the, it's, the, it's like... Christmas morning every time I get to go see them because you get to bring a little bit of home and to perform for them in particular away from home gives it's just a completely different deal and then if you when you bring uh, secular I would say secular comics I guess you know comics who weren't in a, in mm -hmm. a military and you bring them it gives it just gives you it's just, uh, like a just you really understand how lucky we are and you I'm always aware that right now as we're doing this there's someone living uncomfortably somewhere in the world given me this opportunity to tell jokes and to share my evening with people. So uh, then I get to go and give it to them, it's the best. But the best is when someone entertained over there, I, I like say in 2000, I've become really good friends with my friend Micah who protected me over there in 2004 in Iraq. And I, to look at him and my audience back home here, can't can't even oh, can't, can't even, wow. describe can't, it, even. Yeah. can't even you know it's just a kind of you know juxtaposition and to know everything worked out and they're back and they're happy so now what branch were you in I was in the Navy okay why did you select the Navy uh, because uh, Luke Duke from the Dukes of Hazard mm -hmm. was a <laughs> yeah was a former Navy boxing champ and okay. I thought that was cool all right so my biggest life decision was based off a TV character's backstory <laughs> not, <laughs> Not even, not, <laughs> not even an up. episode. <laughs> Just his backstory. Yeah. Yeah. So did, Some so writer out. in a room was like, "Let's make him a, a <laughs> Navy boxer." That won't influence the kids' the whole entire existence. <laughs> Yes, that's true. How about that? Yeah. I never would have expected that answer. Yeah, and then my favorite movie of all time was Officer and Gentleman. Of course. Mayonnaise! Yeah, so that, uh, th those two. And then uh, one of my best friends, uh, one of my best friends, uh, I used to have on the wrestling team. He graduated the year before me. He joined the Navy. Ah. Okay. And here's a cool story. I was at the Virginia Beach Funny Bone a month ago, and I'm up in the room, and uh, my fiance, my fiance, I'm getting married, my fiance oh my comes up to me and she goes, there's a guy here named Kenny Brooks. He said he's from Brewster, and he has, you know, uh, and, I, and I start freaking out, I'm like, Kenny Brooks? Kenny Brooks is here. And she's like, she never seen me this excited. Kenny Brooks? And, uh, and she goes, yeah, he's from Brewster. I never heard of him. You, you want to meet him? I go, get, 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 bring him up here. <laughs> I come up, we embrace. The beautiful thing about it was he's not on social media. So it was the most pure moment like that, it was like 20, I didn't see him 20, 20 years oh of buildup. And it made me realize like how many moments like that have I been robbing myself by like oh, being on social that's... media because she said, I'd never seen you that excited. Cause had he sent me a message, like, you're a little more hey, familiar. Yeah. You're like, oh, oh, Kenny's coming by. But it was out of the blue. And it, I, I don't remember being that happy. To, to like, and, you know, so it was, it was interesting. And was you really didn't have any idea. We had what's no idea. That, He's like, did you remember me? And I'm like, she, I'm like, remember you? What are you crazy? It was amazing. So what did you guys talk about when you when you first got together? And How great we both looked compared to all of our friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what. Because he, yes, he, he's, 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 33, so he's 33 years in the Navy, you know, and he's just, he's like, you look great, you look great. And all our friends look awful. <laughs> it's it's like, a mutual right. respect. Oh, we're just, yeah, we're doing amazing. Did you see me on the salmon rider? <laughs> it, was, it was great, but it was such a beautiful thing that it made me really ask myself, like, okay, how many great moments am I taking away from yeah. my own joy, um, you know, just by being. Are you really missing out? Yeah. 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 So, you know, think about yeah, how many lesson for the morning. You know, just step back a little bit. Yeah. Th think about that too. Think about how many people that w are on their devices and they're so focused in, they're letting every they're putting blinders on. Yeah, they're putting blind. I, I mean, I think uh, I, I think social media and, and the internet, it's uh, it's like what twenty five years old, and it acts like a twenty five year old. Mm -hmm. You know, it can immobilize, have great energy, or it can throw up on your feet. <laughs> 
know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? It makes, so I think it's really, really good. Uh, right now I'm really using it because I'm doing a fundraiser for an adventure race I do with uh, disabled and able-bodied able body athletes. So it, it, it's, it's very powerful and very helpful. And then, uh, you know, then, you know, you get the other It has its so. place, yeah. right? It has its but place. Yeah. But that was one of the coolest things that much. happened to me. So well, that long. is cool. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of a little bit, bit of business here. Yeah. You're not going anywhere. You're stuck here until cool. about, uh, about 9 o'clock. But when we come back, we'll talk a little bit about your, your adventure that you have coming up that you just got done mentioning, uh, mentioning sure. and uh, give some details on that, how people can get involved with that and give you some assistance on that too, amongst other things. Oh, and, nice. and the fact, by the way, oh, by the way, He's at the Funny Bone. Uh, yeah, yes. And tomorrow night. <laughs> Comedy is what I do best. <laughs> just, just so you know. Yes. Okay. There you have it. PJ Walsh. We'll be right back.